panel just to show how strong it is. So if I push in really hard. In fact, this solar panel itself was part of a failure test that we did. And after uh, a few hundred pounds of force, it started breaking on the edge, but that's about three or four, five times more force than your car will ever exert on the solar panel. And um, in this video, we're gonna show the new solar panels that we're gonna be using for the dark solar, uh, at least the first generation. Um, these solar panels we've been using and testing for the last three months, they are about four millimeters thick and I'm gonna record the video using a point of view headset so that you can see up close to the different solar cells of this panel. Now this panel is actually about a 180 watt solar panel if you don't include or take into account the ETFE coating that's on top of the solar cells. Um, we have been able to test this at most with uh, an output of 170 watts on the dart solar and that's why we're including six of these for the 1000 watt uh, product the really cool thing and unique thing uh, about these solar panels is that we don't attach them flat on your roof like this what we do is we have incorporated an extra flap uh, here in the front of the solar panel and again I'll come closer to show it to you but maybe I can show it as well like here like so there's this flap where four bolts go through the solar panel so that basically as you are driving forward in that direction this solar panel is attached from the direction in which you're accelerating so there's no way that these solar panels are gonna come off the roof. Uh, we've had a few accidents and we've learned that this is the best design. And when I wear the point of view camera, I'm gonna use one of these um, Milwaukee uh, sort of oscillators to cut through this piece of plastic so you can see exactly how, how strong it is and how we're absolutely sure that the solar panels are not gonna break apart. In fact, this solar panel itself was part of a failure test that we did. And after uh, a few hundred pounds of force, it started breaking on the edge, but that's about three or four, five times more force than your car will ever exert on the solar panel. And Another unique characteristic of this solar panel, sorry that, that it's a little bit dirty, it's been uh, beaten to death um, in a way, is we attach these cables that have a waterproof XT60 connector. And again, when I wear the point of view um, camera, you'll, you'll be able to see at more details. This solar panel is super flat it has no junction box it has a tiny container here that we are going to add but there's no diode in this junction box all the diodes are moved under the dart solar in a tiny box and basically that will allow you to connect the solar panels in series or in parallel or in any way that you want by changing the configuration of the diodes and the connections inside the dart solar frame in a water uh, proof okay so here we are you can see the the texture of the solar panel pretty up close you can see the bus bars um, and the solar cells these are half cells basically my finger is moving across um, one of the cells right now so you can kind of see it and the lamination is pretty rigid this is the flap and this is the part that we broke when we're doing our failure test. And you can see that there's gonna be bolts that go through the solar panel that connect ultimately to the dark solar. So there's no way um, the solar panel can fly off from the car panel. Just to show how strong it is. So if I 
pushing really hard. Like uh, after pushing in pretty hard, you can see that only this amount got cut. I'm gonna try it from a different angle. So from here, let's see if we can, whoop. This is really hard um, to cut and to break. So you can see that for this tear to occur, it, it, it was about um, a tremendous amount of force as we were driving and purposely trying to break, break the solar panel. 